related to the USA's insane justice system. And this is not going to be a popular opinion. I'll probably get flamed for it. Just like, just like anybody that defends this kind of stuff or that questions this kind of stuff gets flamed for it. In fact, who's the actor right now that they just put in prison looking for the, looking for the article here, this uh, actor from the 70s show. They just sentenced to 30 years to life for rapes that supposedly occurred a decade ago. Um, and I just want to talk about this for a second, guys, because as a man, and I think it's important, especially as men, that we talk about this. It's important as men that we respect other people, that we, that we keep, teach our kids to love freedom and, and stand up against bullies and not be bullies. It's important as men that we have values. It's important for me as, as, a, as a man that I teach my kids to have values and respect others and try to act like Christ. But whatever your beliefs are, it's important as men that we take our role as men seriously, okay? And I'm looking at this story with Danny Masterson and, and, and Ashton Kutcher came out and Ashton Kutcher came out and basically said, this is bogus. It, not quite that directly. He didn't say nothing happened. He's, he didn't put himself all out there, but he basically came out because they're friends and Ashton Kutcher came out and, and stood up for him. And of course, Ashton Kutcher is getting flamed because the lynch mob sucks. But here's what I'm getting at with today's topic, guys. It's not safe to be a man. I get that, that there's, there's lots of times when men take advantage of women. And it's important as if you're a real man, you shouldn't be letting that fly. It's important we stand up for each other and love our neighbor. But this psychotic mindset of all men are rapists, you can be sent to prison for nothing. I know people. We got people like Jim Hamilton, right? Jim Hamilton's another guy. He's actually in the same prison that Jeff Winehouse is in. He didn't. He had a prostitute, and I'm, I'm, that's a whole other topic, right? Good, probably a good thing to avoid, guys. But he had a prostitute that, over some dispute, he didn't pay, so they framed him for rape, and he went. He got three hundred years in prison because they, they just did a total sham of a trial. And those kind of trials, these sex trials are always complicated because if you're an ignorant member, and I know we're gonna see some comments from the ignorant people in here that didn't actually bother to look into it. They hear rape, they hear pedophile, and they're like, string them up because they don't actually care about justice. And if you're one of those people, you need to repent. You need to shut up and you need to start looking into things. Because being convicted, they're like, oh, well, he's, he's a rapist. We, he was convicted in the court. I don't care if somebody was convicted in the court. Being convicted in a court in the United States especially means absolutely nothing. Literally no evidence is required, especially in sexual cases, even more so with sexual cases regarding to children. And you numb nuts out there that don't care about your neighbor and that don't care about justice and that never learned to pick up a freaking constitution and read it, and that never learned to actually study facts, you numb nut mob members that are like, finally, he's in prison, when you have no idea, did you, have, did you look? Did you go look at most of these sex cases that come down? Have you ever noticed a distinct pattern? There's never any evidence. He said, a woman said, three women said, do you realize how easy it is to get three women to make a claim when you're a famous person? And they, they stand something to gain? Now, I'm not necessarily saying that Danny Masterson didn't do anything bad. I think I see a lot of times these sex cases and I'm like, you know what? This is a good reason for us not to be screwing around all the time and, and to take it slow, right? But that doesn't mean you're a rapist. And Danny Masterson. So what you have, and I looked into this trial and I'm like, it's all like, oh, some girl said. The, it's, whoa, you come out and 10 years later, like, well, this happened. And here's the crazy thing. Everybody's like, oh, he's such a loser. He deserves to do in prison because you're not doing your research. Look, if someone rapes somebody and there's evidence for it, there should be consequences, right? If someone's abusing children for real, there should be consequence. And before you even talk about it, you should learn what a child actually is and what a not child is what a prepubescent and what a teenager and what an adult and use the words and stop calling everybody you don't like a pedophile because you sound like an absolute redneck idiot when you do. So just stop. It's stupid. It, it's, 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 
idiocy and it's a violation of due process. So Ashton Kutcher's coming out and they were friends on this 70s show. And honestly, I don't know for sure, but this strikes me like a complete scam. Now you guys know that I'm a little bit of a buddy with Ashton Kutcher. I don't know him by the way. But when, when 2014 came out and my pulling over a cop video came out, Ashton Kutcher said that I was his hero. I was his new hero. I'm guessing that I'm, I'm not. I mean, this was, like, this was like nearly 10 years ago. If I was to hazard a guess, I'm probably not Ashton Kutcher's hero anymore. Um, but, but at one time, I, I, Gavin Syme, was Ashton Kutcher's hero. And... I'm sick of everything, everybody being a rapist. And I'm sick of everyone saying like, I'm a man's man, like this feminism, this toxic feminism against men. And yet as soon as a court trial comes out and it says, so-and-so convicted of abusing a minor, so-and-so convicted of rape, you're all like, string him up, string him up. You're the one actually promoting the toxic feminism, asshole. Like, which is it gonna be? Are you gonna say, hold on, what did he actually do to the girl and how old was she, right? Instead of doing this macho thing, but actually all of this is being promoted by this feminist men are evil mindset. And so on the one hand, but to, to bridge the gap, what are they doing? They're giving you all the crazy stuff, you know, the, the now men are women and all this stuff so they can get the right also turning against and fil the, the people and, and saying they're perverts because a lot of people out there, there's a lot of perverted stuff going on out there. I get that. So I'm not saying that people shouldn't be held accountable. I'm saying that we've forgotten the fundamental principle of due process. Let's go back to Blackstone. It's better that 10 guilty escape than that one innocent suffer. I want you to ask yourself that next time you're looking at one of these cases. Is the evidence 100% clear? Now, let's be clear. The Danny Masterson should not be in jail right now. The Danny Masterson trial was illegal, 100% illegal. And I will show you why the Danny Masterson trial was illegal. Let's go to the Bill of Rights. The good old Bill of Rights, right? Doesn't give us our rights, it's a reminder of them. All right, and let's go through and go to the Bill of Rights. We could go through various amendments here, right? But I think the most important one is probably, give me just a second to look through. I got my little U.S. Constitution. We're talking U.S. Constitution, not Mexican Constitution right now. I do use both. Mm -hmm. Make a note here. I do use both, but in particular, let's look at the Fifth Amendment. Good old Fifth Amendment. Pretty simple. Where's the Fifth? There it is. Let me read you if I may, the Fifth Amendment. And now, bear in mind, this was Masterson's second trial. Okay, this is the first thing. So first of all, we have this mindset. All men are rapists, right? And, and you know, girl 16, James is 18. He's a pervert, he's a pedophile. No, he's not. It's literally, has nothing, it doesn't matter if the girl's 16 and he's 40. That doesn't make him a pedophile. Now, you as the parent might say, no, 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 I don't wanna do, go there absolutely doesn't make it. A pedophile is a prepubescent child. Get your words right or shut your mouth. Stop using words that destroy people's lives, that fuel lynch mobs, that kill people, and that put them in prisons because you are too stupid to crack a book. I'm sick of it, you guys. I know I'm getting a little rough on this, but I am so tired of the sex crime crap. I'm also tired of this, of, 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 of an idea that, that is a lot less prevalent than it used to be, but you know, oh, boys will be boys, they can do what they want. People have to be held accountable for their actions. And I'm not trying to downplay that. So don't you try and play this game of, a, Gavin's a pervert himself, that's why he supports, that's why he supports, uh, he's defending Danny Masterson. I don't know Danny Masterson. I do know that I looked into this case and I saw no credible evidence being talked about. 
But even if you can find credible evidence, Danny Masterson's conviction is 100% illegal. Let's get back to that Fifth Amendment, shall we? No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on the presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service, time of war, or public danger. Nor shall any person, this is the key point here, nor shall any person be subject to the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to witness against himself, nor shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Fifth Amendment. Pretty straightforward, guys. Pretty straightforward. But the key point in this particular amendment that I'm going up with this case that instantly invalidates the conviction is that no person shall be twice put in jeopardy And as soon as you do a second trial, they couldn't convict on the first. The jury could not reach a unanimous decision which is required to convict. It means there was doubt that the evidence was legitimate, you guys. It is better that 10 guilty escape than that one innocent suffer. Danny Masterson's conviction is illegal. It doesn't matter if you like him. It doesn't matter if you think maybe he did something wrong, but you don't know. So stop pretending you do because the fact that a kangaroo trial convicted him in no way means he's a rapist. And I've seen no evidence whatsoever that proves he's a rapist. Do you guys know that the girlfriend, from my understanding, if you can find other information, the, the girlfriend, one of the girlfriends that said he raped her, continue being his girlfriend. Does that make sense? When someone rapes you, do you, do you keep being their girlfriend? Is that normal? You tell me. Does that seem a little shady? Does that throw a little bit of a credibility question into your guys' minds? Or is, is that just me that actually has brain cells working? Sorry if I'm being rude, but this is, this is, the, this is the resist podcast and I'm gonna resist this crap even if people call me names because I'm not supporting the rape lynch mob. I'm sick of it, you guys. I'm sick of men. It is dangerous to be a man. You can literally go to prison in most countries in the world for being a rapist and you've done absolutely nothing. We have been lynching and murdering people for thousands of years for rape with no evidence. I'm sick of it. It's disgusting. It's revolting. And you have no place in a conversation of justice if you're supporting it. It's outrageous. But to the point of the specific legal, these multiple trials and they, they, they spin and they weave things, they, no, it's BS. If you take somebody to a second trial because you couldn't convict them on the first one, you're a criminal. The conviction is illegal and we have to stop tolerating it. Do you know that Rick Gerber, one of the defenders of the Bundys, they were trying to get him on financial crimes? They had to take him to trial four times, you guys, because they could never convict him. So they just kept taking Rick Gerber back to trial until they finally convicted him. I think they gave him 30 years too, and he's now sitting in prison. Why? Because the Fifth Amendment was ignored. They took charges, and I don't know if Rick did everything perfect, but the feds wanted Rick, who was a lawyer, out of the picture, so they locked Rick Gerber away by trying him over and over. And don't try and tell me, you're not, a, you're not in jeopardy, you think it doesn't cost to go to trial? How, how much do you think Danny Masterson spent on the second trial? Do you think that's not putting in jeopardy his life, his property, his liberty? Because the a-holes couldn't convict him on the first trial because they didn't actually have a real case? And James, James is in the chat right now. If you're watching live, if you're listening to the podcast, James Freeman is in the chat with us right now. And James was at Rick's sentencing. It's a sham, you guys. You can't try somebody twice. You can't say, oh, we lost. When you're playing a game, right, you start a business, oh, we lost. Let's, re let's, let's go back. Right? We're going to reverse time and just, we get to start over. Do you get to start over when you're in prison? No, they just lock you away and throw away the key and you're on your own. And now they're making money off you. This is outrageous. This, this put people in prison, everyone is a rapist culture. People say there's a rape culture where men get raped. No, there's a culture of accusing everyone of rape. If your daughter goes out and she gets fall down drunk, who was the college student that they, Brock Turner? 
You know how much flack I caught for defending Brock Turner? Now, should Brock Turner been... Should Brock Turner have been out screwing a girl when he was fall, fall down drunk next to a garbage can? No. Have you ever looked at the actual details? Like, they were flaming me saying I was a rapist supporter. There's literally zero evidence. In fact, he wasn't even convicted of rape. That's why he's not still in prison. They were saying, I can't believe they let him out already. He wasn't even convicted of rape. And they're still calling Brock Turner a rapist, even though those charges never came to him. The girl was fall down drunk. There was no sign that he forced her. And after the fact, to cover her shame of getting fall down drunk and screwing a guy next to a dumpster, this hussy, and yes, I'm going to say the word. Is that allowed to say the word? Because if you're accusing someone, if you're out getting drunk and sleeping with a guy, and then you have regret and you accuse him of being a rapist, no, I didn't want to. Oh, he raped you? Well, yeah. Yeah. You're a scumbag, you're a hussy, and you're a criminal. You're not a victim. And so from all the data that I saw in the, Tur in the Brock Turner case, he was the victim, not the girl. And I'm sick of victims being made of men who may have made bad choices, but the girl, because she also made bad choices, gets to say, he raped me. I am tired of the rape culture. Rape is a serious thing, and it is an offense to people who are genuinely raped to have all these college tramps out there that are feminists and later change their mind about what they did saying that they were raped. It is an offense to people that were actually raped, sexually abused, etc. And we have to resist it. And that's, that's what I have to say. That's what I have to say on this whole Danny Masterson... Ashton Kutcher and uh, situation. And maybe I'll edit out the slow part, the, the part of this video that was uh, <laughs> me fixing the mic and I'll post this to the channel just to put my name to it. I'm not gonna be afraid of it. We have to stop being afraid to speak the truth. And I don't care if you're a man, if you're a woman, stop falling for this crap. Stop being a part of a stupid lynch mob that's so ignorant that they can't even pick up a little pocket constitution and read it. Grow up. Okay? This is the Resist Podcast. So resist.